everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today it's time for some thrift flips. I have three for you today and uh, two of them are for a new project that we have just started in our home. So I'm so excited to tell you a little bit about that as well. So it's the gym for all this. <music> For my first flip today, I will make over this old door that I've seen better days for sure. It's not a good door really, but uh, I will make it work for me. Looks like this. And on the other side, it looks like this. So what we do at first take off all the hardware hinges and uh, handles and everything and then i will do my best to take off that picture starting there at the bottom but then it worked better from the top hubby is helping me here to pull life is so much easier when we join forces so it's almost stripped and then it's time to clean it up and then go over it with spackle fill in all the holes that i don't need to see there anymore on the bottom of the door you can see that i have a gap there it's, it's almost just cardboard, this door, not very much quality in it, but uh, I will make that gap shut with some strong adhesive. Just put it in there as far as I can. And then I take a, a number of clamps and just force it together and let it sit. I let it sit actually for a couple of days just to be sure like that looking a lot better already I will have different handles so I don't need those outer holes there so I just need the two holes in the center so I'll spackle them as well I ordered the new handles from Amazon and they look like this very good looking but they did not fit the lock it's too small but we had another one at home in our stash and that fit perfectly like that. But then I had another issue. That one was a little bit too thick so it wouldn't go in there. So we need to take care of that just to enlarge that hole. I will not bother you with that. So let's go on to the embellishment of this side of the door. I have some uh, wood strips that I will use to make it look Japanese inspired. You will see where I'm going with this. So I have the two long strips that goes vertically on the door on each side and then I want horizontal ones as well from side to side so I need to cut smaller pieces to fit on the outer parts like that. And then I need to cut the pieces to fit inside so it will complete the look. Just measuring and um, cutting them with the help of my mitre box. And it will look like this. Looks a bit uh, Japanese, doesn't it? So now I have all my pieces and now it's time to paint them. And I do that with a black satin color and I applied two coats. And you may wonder why Japanese inspired? What are you doing now Marika? And I will tell you. Uh, we have a place uh, in our outbuildings that we have decided to make into a large uh, bathroom. We call it our spa. It's uh, not that big, 
but um, we have started to work on that and there will be a toilet there and this will be the toilet door now i'm working on the other side and there i will have a small frame same fashion a little japanese inspired so i have cut my pieces already and now i'm painting them in a gold color this gold was a little bit too bright for me so i ended up uh, putting on another cover of another gold that i had on hand and that looked much better so this side is going to be all black so i'm painting it in the black satin color that i used for the wood strips on the other side and i applied two coats here as well i will let you in more on this project our spa as we call it in my next video hopefully so the door is done on this side and now I am marking out where I need to attach those wood strips, those golden ones, to make a frame. So I measured carefully to get it straight and to put on some wood glue and now I'm stapled them into place like that. And do the same on the other one just make sure that it sits very very straight and mark where I need it to be just with a piece of chalk here and then put on my wood glue and staple it into place this video is part of the third Thursday thrift flips challenge hosted by rustic chicks designs and the rusted willow and their co-host for this month is farmhouse frugally i will have links to their channels down in my description box along with the link to the playlist of this challenge for more flip ideas just click and enjoy Here I'm covering the staples with some of my gold color. Now I will paint something cute on the inside of this frame. I take something round and trace it with just a piece of chalk and then I take my gold color and fill it in. That will be the Japanese sun. Then I will take a smaller paint brush and paint some tree branches. And while this side is drying, I go back to the other side, which I have painted with one coat of a white color. And now I'm measuring where to put my dry black wood strips. I want to make sure that I place them straight because sometimes these wood strips are not entirely straight so that's why I need to maybe bend it in a couple of places to get it super straight and then I put some wood glue onto the back side of the strip and then along the way now I go with my staple gun and put the staples in place all the way down then I do the same on the other side just measuring where I need it to be the same distance from the edge as I have already placed the other one now to the ones that goes across very precise with my measuring here as well put a wood glue on my strips and put them into place make sure they line up all the way so it looks good And then I staple them into place. 
I do the bottom and the top first and then I make sure that I have an even space in between the other two. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. Now I'm doing some touch up here as well with the black color, just covering the staples and anything that I find not covered completely. I'm back on the other side of my door and now I am painting some sherry blossoms with a dark red to start with just uh, simple simple petals four on each flower I'm just pressing my paintbrush onto the painting like that and then I go in with a brighter red and once that has dried I will put a golden dot in the center of each flower now I will put on a door sign and this one I have thrifted years and years and years ago in Sweden on a flea market and that will be perfect on this door I just measure how large it is and then find the center of this square so it will look nice and straight and in symmetry with the rest of the look so this will be the outside of my door looks good right there and I put just some double-sided tape on it so I can remove it when I please if I decided to put it on another door make sure it's where it's supposed to be and then press it into place and here it is my beautiful door it's a nice makeover I think and I think it will be perfect for our spa so it says toilet in three different languages Japanese Swedish and English the door handles are not quite in place yet we have some touches to do there but I wanted to get this video out so that's why I'm giving this to you anyways and here is the other side that will be the inside of the toilet looking pretty I think tell me what you think For my second flip, I will make sort of a Valentine display, very simple one. I have this heart that I've thrifted, a metal wired heart, a big one. And I have this beautiful frame that I will use and I will just put that heart on top of that frame. But first I will make them look a lot prettier. So first thing I will do is take off that inner frame because I don't need that. I save it for another project. And once removed, I take my pliers and remove those metal thingies that held it into place as well. I'm painting the frame in my black satin color and I applied the two coats to get a really good coverage. My heart had those thingies everywhere that you sort of put postcards in or whatever, the pictures. But I didn't want them like that, so I decided to 
squeeze them a little bit with my pliers and make them look like a tiny butterflies. Yeah, sort of in a way. With some imagination, you will see butterflies. And then I take my heart outside and spray paint it in a gold color. Just one coat needed. The frame has dried and now I'm taking my creamy gold color and apply it to the inner stripe like that and also to one of the outer stripes. And here it is in my living space, looking super pretty, I think. Perfect for Valentine's and beyond, actually. I just put the heart in place with a couple of staples. Tell me what you think. You could easily embellish it a lot further with flowers and bows, but I decided to go simple on this one. For my third and final flip, I will make over this mirror. I have already made over a mirror just like this with the same damage as this one. Do you see it? That's a hole right through the frame. I was told that they were like together, those two. I got them both from my brother-in-law and the forklift ran into them and damaged both of them, but not the mirror itself, luckily. So here I am deep cleaning this frame because it's super dirty. It has been in storage for such a long time. I went over it three or four times with a toothbrush and um, tissue and uh, uh, so, so dirty. The other one is sitting in my living area and uh, it's like gold uh, in color. This one I will make over differently because this one will sit in our spa in the toilet above the sink. It will look super pretty there. Look how dirty it was. Now on to this crack here and I place something underneath it so that the wood filler that I'm using will not just seep through and um, yeah, vanish somewhere. I fill that hole completely, just press down as much wood filler as I can and make it somewhat even. This is just the first coat so I let that sit overnight and dry. And then I'm wiping off any excess that I don't need a wood filler on. Okay, with my next layer, putting some on and just smear it out with my finger. And then with a spoon as well to get that rounded shape that the frame has. That layer has dried, I'm sanding it off to make it more even looking. It's not perfect, but uh, perfect enough for me. Now I am just a vacuum of all the dust and then I will address that stripe that is missing. And I will actually use just a wooden skewer to replace it. Just put some wood glue in place like that and put that a uh, wooden skewer in place like that and then i will put something heavy on top and let it sit to dry for a bit 
once dry I will go in with some spackle to it just incorporate that wooden skewer into the frame just on the sides of it I think it will turn out good and then another day for that to dry I have taped off the mirror with some masking tape and now I'm painting the mirror with my go-to black satin color and I applied three coats to get a really good coverage and make sure that I put that color into every nook and cranny of that texture on the mirror. If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing. Hit that like button. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one or two videos per week. The last thing that I will do is take my creamy gold color and rub onto the texture of my beautiful mirror just with the help of my finger on the corner pieces for sure and then also on that tiny texture around the mirror voila here is how it turned out my beautiful mirror for our spa project and look at that texture just love it And here you go down to the damage place. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. Doesn't matter to me. Some unevenness, but good enough for me. It looks old and worn. So tell me, what do you think of my flips today? Did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. And now, if you want more inspiration, Head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.